Southern Kaduna youth vowed to defend territories against terrorists and bandits. Welcome to the news and please subscribe to our channel. The youth said they will no longer remain quiet while terrorists attack their communities, abduct people and occupy their forests. You see, I've been saying this for some time now, like I recently realized that there is a limit to what anyone can take. To be sincere, if you are known as the oppressor and you keep oppressing the oppressed, one day you see that person that you are slapping around and you are bullying around and you are kicking around and that person, no matter, even if that person is a slave, what I'm trying to say is that the person will be like, I cannot take this anymore. The person will get to his or breaking point and it is going to surprise you. Like you are going to be amazed. Even the person will be amazed that so I have such power in me. That is just it too. The government will come now and will say, oh, um, okay, we can do something. We are sending people. That time, the people will not listen. And if government security agents, or if you now go, if you are um, an army officer or whatever, or a, a civil defense staff, and you now go attacking civilians, anything you see, you take when it gets to that point. Because I've been saying it that the people one day will say the government has failed us. Let us not fail ourselves. Instead of me to go down crying for help i'm going rather going to go down fighting brave as a warrior now the news in detail members of a youth wing of a southern Karunas people's union sokapu have vowed to defend their terrorist territories from rampaging bandits and terrorists the youth said they will no longer remain quiet while terrorists attack their communities abduct people and occupy their forest this was contained in a statement issued by the National Youth Leader of Sokapu, Comrade John Isaac. The youth have also called on the people and residents of the area to rise up and defend themselves. We must defend ourselves against terrorists that, found, that have found a safe haven in our forest, the statement said. Specifically, the youth expressed sadness and deep regret over an attack in which terrorists killed two people and adopted 50 in Ongwang Imbia Sabontasha, Chekun local government area of Kaduna State. They noted that the same community was attacked and people were kidnapped in July. One was killed in that July attack and millions of naira were paid as ransom, the group noted. The Sokabu youth said the unabated sacking their communities by terrorists was sad and must stop. The recent killing of two of our kinsmen and the abduction of countless others at Ungwan Gimbia in Sabantasha, a town within Kaduna Metropolis, has left us perturbed as to the functionality of our security architecture and readiness of government to tame the rising wave of criminality across the state and the country at large, the group said. Hmm. Problem problem this is where my fear is it will get to a point because the government has failed the people i will say again the people will say i will not fail myself the people will say i will rather die crying for help and saying please than i will rather die um brave fighting and defending my territory than dying crying for help people are tired i keep saying it there is a limit to what people can take you cannot keep killing these people and expect they will fold their arms. No. They are human beings. They are not robots. You kill them on a daily basis. You abduct them. The same people you made to pay ransom. The same people you kick around and no. They are going to tell you that enough is enough. No matter how strong a man is. No matter how huge and big. No matter the guns and knives he possess. One day, that particular person he's trampling on, he's kicking around and he's doing anything to, will rise up and fight that person. And the person will be surprised that I'm going to scare him off. That is it. You don't keep telling people stories for the day and say, oh, we are doing this. Giving them stories like, we are doing this and we use our super Tucano jets or we use our armor tank or don't worry, you know, we are declared, we have defeated them technically. See all those stories you're saying, they are all super stories. The people are tired and sick of it. They will get, it is getting, <laughs> am I saying they will? It will get, it is getting to that point. 
People are like, no, now. We can't continue like this. That is when you know that in every oppressed person, there is a bigger oppressor than that person standing. There is a saying that, not be only one person get crazy. If you are thinking you are the only one crazy, that person one day that used to show your crazies, we show you that he has gone to the psychiatrist hospital and back, and he's just trying to be rational with you. That is just it. That is it. People are tired. Same story every day. We will, we will. Your willpower can still not will you to do anything. This kind, this administration. They, their willpower does not tell them to do anything. Instead, they go about picking people that oppose their administration. They go about, you see this man now called, um, this cleric now, that is always speaking about the bandit, give them land and money. You see that cleric? Somebody spoke up and said, this man should be investigated and spoke something now that this man is doing. Do you know that the DSS has invited that particular person? He has alerted the public that, look, in case so anything happened, my friend went to the DSS and a few months after I died, I don't, I'm not saying this, but I'm just informing the public. This is the kind of administration we are in. Do you expect them to take the gov the take the Do you expect them to take you seriously when you celebrate and justify killings of unarmed people whose only crime is exercising the right to self dissemination? Sadly, they predominantly your fellow Christians. Yes, they made a boundary between themselves and lived in peace as good neighbors. Who say the first union that is threatening the very assistance of totally different people? Within it cannot be negotiated. It is either we live in peace, agreement, justice, and charity, or we part with through dialogue and peace. Like the South, fellow Christian and the North, especially Christian, should begin to speak up with against injustice and the South, especially as it concerns Biafra. The day they start doing this will be the day their killers will become powerless. Hmm. Nigerian soldiers will tackle them as opposition. Of course. Of course they will. Of course. So now, who are the terrorist bandits that Sarah protests are re protested are reporting about with anxiety? Nigerians are now in need of good intervention, but no one can defend this terrorist because every territory has been terrorized already. And we are, it is, we are too late or taking it. It is rather, <laughs> it is rather late than ever. There's nothing like it is too late. <laughs> People are tired. People, yes, it is true that, you know, had it been you speak up or you act on time. But see, it is better late than never. To be sincere, people will rise up. This one is not a matter of inciting or whatever. These people have been.